Today we'll be having a look at the TrueFlate wall-mounted tire inflator, part number 16-250. Here's what our TrueFlate inflator kit comes with. We have our inflator compressor unit right here. This is a wall-mounted unit which plugs into your standard wall outlet for 120 volt power and this will provide up to 110 psi of air pressure to inflate whatever accessory we have such as our automotive tires, our lawn and garden tires, or we even have adapters here for inflating sports balls such as your basketball, air mattress needle, or inflatable toy for your swimming pool or anything of that nature. We have our four mounting screws to secure it to the wall. And additionally, we have a clip right here that secures to the wall to hook our nozzle onto so it stays out of the way. This inflator unit that we have here today has a nice five foot long power cord and a 25 foot long coiled air hose. Now, this is great for homeowner applications where you need to have a compressor, but you don't have a lot of space in your garage for a large tank compressor. If you're just wanting to air up your tires occasionally or take care of your kids' air toys or take care of your lawn and garden equipment, this is a perfect solution. It has a long enough cord for you to reach all your accessories that you need, but it's a compact unit and attaches to your wall, so you don't have to worry about losing valuable floor space in your garage. It's a cost-effective solution compared to a compressor as well. All right, as you can see on our truck that we have in here today, we have a low tire on the left rear. Now this is good about 15 feet away from where our compressor is on the wall. So we're gonna air this up. Let's unscrew our valve stem cap here. Set it down so you don't lose it. And we'll go get our air hose. We'll first start by setting our inflator up to the desired pressure. Our vehicle uses 40 PSI of air in the tires, so we'll hold down the plus button, and we'll go up from the factory preset of 35 to 40. It'll start flashing, and it'll let us know that it's storing the preset. We'll hold it again. We can verify that the preset is, has been set at 40. We can adjust this up or down to desired air pressure. Now, as you can see, we're gonna have plenty of cord here to reach our tire, so we'll unclip it from the wall. We'll turn our inflator on and go over to our tire. We'll clip it onto the valve stem, push down this lever, and it'll lock in place, and it'll automatically inflate to our desired pressure. We can walk away, and it'll do its job. Now, as you can see, our gauge on our inflator shows our current air pressure where we're at. Now for most automotive tires, it'll take between three or four minutes to fully inflate them. Since this is a truck, it'll probably be closer to the four minute range. Now the inflator measures the air pressure going out of it, not necessarily the pressure that's in the tire. So it puts a couple extra pounds in so it's accurate once the compressor shuts off. As you can see, we're at 39 and a half. So once we remove it, we'll double check it with an actual tire gauge and see where we're at. Okay, we'll undo our connector here, place on our tire pressure gauge that we have. We're right at 40 PSI. Now that we've shown how well it works out for automotive tires, we'll show you how it works for a soccer ball that we have here. So you can see the soccer ball is completely flat. Take our air hose here, push down on the clip, insert the needle, release it. See it's in there nice and tight. We'll insert it into our hole in the ball. And I'll turn the compressor on. Once it feels like our soccer ball has a lot of plenty of air in it, we'll move our needle. Turn our compressor off. As you can see, ball's inflated, bounces easily too. Now we can go play some soccer. Also works great for bike tires too. Now, additionally to the features that we've already mentioned about our inflator, we have a few more to offer you. You press this M button, you can display bar or kilopascals for your inflation standards. So if you have something that shows KPA versus PSI, you can switch that so you don't overinflate or underinflate your device. Also, this inflator has a self-resetting switch. So in case the motor were to overheat from prolonged use, if you were trying to inflate something that was really low on air pressure and was a really large tire, it'll shut off so you don't cause any damage to the unit. Now that we've gone over some of the features, we'll show you how to get it set up. First thing you want to do 
is find a location on your wall near an outlet. Remember, you have five feet of room with the power cord, so just find a good location on your wall that's suitable for you to work. We'll be going right here in our shop. Make sure you have it nice and level. Now let's start one screw for the existing hole. Once we have two screws started, do the other two. You'll want to make sure your power cord comes out through this gap here on the side and you don't have it pinched behind you. Now we'll take our coiled air hose and thread it on to our air fitting port and we'll find a place to mount our air nozzle to. Right about here will be good. Okay, that in place, we're not using our inflator. We can just clip the hose onto it. It'll keep it from dangling on the ground. Now we'll plug in our inflator to the wall outlet. As you can see, once we have it plugged in, we have a nice LCD display here that's backlit in a blue color. So we'll be able to read it in low light conditions. And that completes our look at the TrueFlate wall mounted tire inflator, part number 16-250. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.